even get to go What is going on guys? My name is Joy or the DBC Guard123 and we're back with some more Dragon Ball Z. Now today I have some news shattering bomb breaking information on the next Dragon Ball Z game, which is called Dragon Ball Z Universe. Now if you guys do not know, there has been some brand new gameplay on Super Saiyan 3 Goku, basically the creator himself and some other guys that I would imagine they are I would imagine that they are basically his friends, but we did get some new gameplay, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have already heard about it, but if you guys have not, I'm going to be leaving on your screen right now the gameplay in a couple of seconds, because I thought this deserves a discussion, because I got a lot to say about this. I have a lot, lot to say about this, so as you can all see on your screen right now, basically shows basically a custom-made warrior going into battle. Now, this, a lot of people are saying this is the Great Salmon, guys. This is not the Great Salmon. This is basically a custom made warrior that looks like the Great Salmon. Now, if you look on the top, basically like one of those little bubbles. If you look at the center bubble, it looks like that guy is dressed like the Great Salmon, but he is really basically it's just a custom made warrior. Now, this gameplay is very, very interesting towards the very end. And what also is interesting about this gameplay is this is Xbox 360 gameplay or Xbox One. I would imagine this is 360 gameplay, but. We're really not so sure yet, but we will get some more info. And it did look like um maybe one of your custom made attacks will be the instant transmission. I will go rewatch that part, guys. Now special thanks to Sean Game Z for finding this gameplay because a lot of people weren't sure about this a couple of days ago because this was like a 13 second clip of Goku doing a spirit bomb, and not a lot of people were sure, but apparently um V Jump magazine basically gave him a code for the gameplay, so we're really not that sure about that. Basically the great salmons got killed. And this gameplay is very interesting. Now, what we did get out of this gameplay is Time Patrol Trunks is a confirmed character to play in Dragon Ball Z Universe. And that is something very interesting right there. And now on your screen, basically Goku and Kid Buu are fighting. And what very happens to me is the Spirit Bomb. You'll see in a couple seconds. Now, my thoughts on the Spirit Bomb, I'm kind of disappointed. I mean, um, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. This is not the full game yet. Shoot, this may be just like a build of the game, but if you as you get towards the end of the video, you'll see a little clip of basically the opener for Dragon Ball Xenoverse, and it did not say Dragon Ball Xenoverse Beta on it, like all of the current builds for the game, like at the PlayStation Expo and all that. It did not say that this is a beta. This did say it was a full game, but maybe it's like 25% of the full game, because it did have a lot of characters. Now, there are some characters we did get confirmed out of this. We did get... Time Patrol Trunks and Guldo confirmed because he's very faint, but you can't see him on the other page, and that's kind of hype. I mean, Time Patrol Trunks is one of those characters. I'm like, how is he gonna play yet? That's very, very interesting to me. I'm very hyped to see how he's gonna play as the difference between Time Patrol Trunks and Future Trunks. That is gonna be something very interesting right there. Now, this, I mean, overall, this is very, very interesting. Now, there's a character out, um, right next to Yamcha. This kind of this character kind of looks like Gohan, maybe Ultimate Gohan. I would guess. But I really can't confirmation on that. Now, we're reaching to the point in the gameplay where this is about to get very, very interesting. Now, this was at, I think about the, the Spain Expo. I'm not sure. There was a lot of Expos. And I'm really not so sure. But overall, Kid Boo seems like a very, very awesome character so far. And now, here gets interesting. Super Saiyan 3. Now, look on your screen. He fires a spirit bomb. And then, he lands it. That's kind of cool right there. And then, BAM! That's it. It just sits there. It just sits there, the spirit bomb, and I'm like, no explosive effects, nothing? What are you doing, Dimps? What are you doing? Now, what I said before, this could be a build of the game, like a really early build of the game, because this does not look like one of the current builds of the game, but it did have right there. As you can see on the screen, there is no saying Dragon Ball Z Universe Beta. It just shows a full game. It's just a full game right there. The last about is for gameplay right there, but I want to hear your thoughts on this. Leave it in the comments down below on what do you guys think about this overall gameplay. Do you guys think it will be updated for the current build of the game? I mean, it's very interesting because I want some special effects in there. I really do. I truly want some special effects right there. I really kind of do because, I mean, you would imagine this spirit bomb would have like a massive effect on the planet, but... I like how we were very concerned because you know on Battle of Z it had so you could charge it. I mean we were we were not so sure because basically in Dragon Ball Xenoverse you were you were basically in control of the character most of the time. And I was wondering how is this cutscene gonna work out? How are they gonna do this? And they did it pretty good. It was only about a couple seconds, it wasn't that long. You would imagine a spirit bomb being like a 15 second 
on a 15 second cutscene, but they want to make this game so the player is in as much control as possible, but yeah, I think they did a very good job on this. The only thing that I didn't want to say in this video is I think they should update the Spirit Bomb, make it better. There is going to be some more Dragon Ball Z more discussions very soon, so anyway guys, thank you all for watching this video. Next Dragon Ball Z game update video. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, as always guys, be sure to hit this video up with a like and leave your thoughts in the comment section down below on what do you guys think of this new gameplay, what do you guys think about Time Troll Trunks being a playable character in this game because so far he's looking simply amazing. I am going to be saying that for I'm going I am going to be saving that for another Dragon Ball Xenoverse discussion. So do stick around on my channel for that. And if you guys have not subscribed yet, I will totally recommend you to do so for all the latest Dragon Ball Z news information and updates, as well as some great walkthroughs, playthroughs, game reviews, and much, much more. I am getting hyped for this game so far, guys. I mean we just got so 360 gameplay I would imagine and if you notice some of the characters there's a lot of custom made characters on the screen as well saving that for another video hope you all enjoyed my name is Joey and until the next I'll be talking to you all later till then peace out